We're installing Jekyll today on Windows 10, uh, and these instructions should work for older versions of Windows, but I haven't tested them. So to begin with, we need to run the command prompt as an administrator. Uh, so the command prompt can be found in all apps, um, then down the bottom, Windows system, command prompt. And I'll just right click on that, uh, go more, and then run as administrator. So we're going to install Chocolatey, which is a package manager for Windows. Uh, and this is just going to make it a lot easier for us to install Jekyll. Um, so I'm going to paste in a command here. To get this command, either go to the show notes or go to the Chocolatey install page. So after I run that, it's going to download and install Chocolatey. So I'll just fast forward through this. Okay, Chocolatey is installed. So now we'll close the command prompt and open it up again, uh, remembering to open it as an admin. Uh, and we just need to do this to make sure um, Chocolatey is in the path. So now we need to install Ruby, uh, and we'll do this with Chocolatey by running choco install ruby-y. Again, I'll fast forward through this part. So Ruby's now installed, uh, and I need to close the command prompt again. Uh, to make sure Ruby's on the path, and I'll open it up. Making sure I open it as admin once again. Now I can install Jekyll using a gem, uh, and a gem is just Ruby's sort of dependency management system. So I'll run gem install Jekyll. And I'll allow access here. Once again, I'll fast forward through this part. Now Jekyll's installed, and we can check by running Jekyll-V. Um, and this is going to print out the version of Jekyll, which you can see is 3.1.3. .3. So Jekyll's all set up, and we're good to go. This tutorial was brought to you by Cloud Cannon, the cloud content management system for Jekyll. For more free tutorials like this one, check out learn.cloudcannon.com.